fans. Oh, why did I laughing. dig this up, man? Why did you I say We haven't started it. talking about the game. We haven't. You had the Stoke fans. Right, the game, the game, no, the game. No, no, game, no, no, game, no, game, no, 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 Sorry, sorry, it's the last game of the season. So please indulge me. You brought this up. <laughs> I've been in the dungeon all year. <laughs> you had the Stoke fans laughing. Have you ever heard Martin Taylor come out and said what I did to Eduardo was well, nothing, that's what I'm saying. So why then should I forgive these people in a football club if they haven't? Have you heard that pro that Prohaska ever come out and say, I nearly injured Patrick? You know what? Even that game, that was against Carlisle. We won 1 0. Sylvan Vutor scored. Do you know he had the guts? He had the guts to, to, to ask Patrick for his shirt. You know what Arsenal said at that time? Arsenal said, I was surprised he got up. If you see the challenge, and he was happy like he done something good. So I'm saying, he does something good. Look at Jose, look at Jose Antonio, God bless his son. He was lucky where he got kicked about by those cheating levels. He's lucky that he's still walking. God, and now he's dead. So I'm saying, no, so no. I, you are right about forgiveness. But forgiveness, people have been I don't want to wrong you. Don't they? No, 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 no. Right, so I don't want to wrong you. No, you have not. You are not. Right, so I don't want to wrong you. I want no more trouble, yeah? <laughs> I want a peaceful summer. Leave me alone. AFTV, Julian, that, that, was a, that was a poor performance. Fabulous. I mean, the fans, give it up to the fans. They were really up for it at the start of the game, you know what I mean? Um, That's work in progress as well. We just didn't turn up today, did we? Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. All right. Listen, we know that we're off them. But do yep. you, did you see enough today to suggest to you that, you know what, we're going to be all right this season? Absolutely not. The work rate was excellent. Very, very good team. £1.3 billion investment. Did you see a big difference between what you saw last week at Brentford and what you saw today? What, did, what was the difference? Shaka, you know, a couple of stupid things. He's nearly a £100 million player. <sighs> they did turn up. And I'll tell you the right guy for you. If he carries on like that, 15 years' time, I think there'll be a statue here with him. AFTV 1-1 um, one, one in the end. That lies matter. I don't want to say... <laughs> boy, oh boy, your intros get longer and longer. I don't think it's a penalty. But if that is a penalty, then I don't want to hear no silliness, should I say, about Robert Pires. He did the same thing against Bruh. Arjen Duzu in 2004 in our first home There's game no when we drew 1 1. Yeah, I know, but what I'm saying. You can't make yeah, a comparison for this season. I can't. AFTV, Julian, he's got my improvised mic today. Right, but, um, listen, it wasn't so much improvisation today, it was, it was three points. Spurs lost 3 0. Part Spurs lost 3 0. Two big games coming up. It was three points. I enjoyed it. I thought the performance was really good. But I've enjoyed all the games up to now. I think it's. I enjoyed it because I've enjoyed the the the. We were expected to win this game. We've got to follow that up now. We've got other games coming up. Different types of tests. I don't understand the opinion of or the idea of coming to football and not enjoying it. I can't say I've enjoyed the performances. I definitely haven't enjoyed the result, but I've enjoyed getting here. I enjoyed the performance. The performance was good, and the result was fantastic. What do you make of some of these guys? They're like, yeah, well, we've won, but one nil. Look, you were the last guy who scraped it. Look, but the most important thing, we won, and something else. It's not just about Arsenal winning. I came into that stadium very, very positive. We won, and it's not just about us winning. Spurs lost three nil. Next week, Burnley, a different type of test. Uh, uh, yeah. Mm. They're all big games, but when you look at the players he brought in, um, Tommy, I'll call him, and it is just Burnley. You know, why should we be scared? We are Arsenal Football Club. The history, the team we've got, the infrastructure we've got, we should be going to Burnley confident and positive, and we'll win.
Yeah, but you're making it like it's a bigger part than what it actually is. No, but, no, but, no, but he probably contributed 10% towards... No, no, 10% no. 10% towards no, maybe... No. Towards maybe yeah, you ain't mentioned one player. What about I, them? What about what yeah. about William? What about Eddie and yes, Ketia? What about yes. Gabriel? What yes. about you know what I mean? Why are you not mentioning them? Yeah, and that's what I said. I said I hold my hands up. If the referee had done his job, in fact, he should give his wages to charity because he doesn't earn his way. Him and the Lions men or the Lions women should give their wages for this game to charity because they do not deserve it. They give it to the coronavirus or something because they did not deserve because they did not earn, earn, earn their wages today. I have to question what have the referees, Lions men or Lions women, VAR, why don't just come out and say we hate you in football time? Don't come, no, come out and say it so we know. No, so we know. He weren't great, oh, but just, he was disgraced. He was disgraceful. He's disgraceful. It's not good enough. And we always seem to get it. Do you think, I'm not going to mention other teams because I'm not going to give them any credit for my lips on this channel. This is the end. Other teams, like the big teams, like I mentioned, do you think he Hold would Hold your know, breath you and count to ten. Do you think that if he was pulled Feel down, the earth move and then. I gave a free kick. Hear my heart, 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 heart burn. Would you prefer to have won this game today or Tuesday? It's, a, it's it, the same team. It's a good. It's a, it's a good question. That's why I've asked it. What's the answer? <laughs> <laughs> But don't make me laugh because I'm still so mad. Which one? The referee's disgraced, by the way. Which one? You're disgraced. Which one's a disgrace? Which game? Right, so let me see. Is it because the thing is, Clever James, Clever James, and Clever Lee as well. He's been, he's been, don't, 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 don't let him hate this. He's been called one of the best punters on the show. Let's hope he won't go to his head. I know DT. I know DT. Which game? DT, DT Hurry is up, a, man. Right, so, um, yeah, the referee's disgraced. Uh, it's a hard one because I see what people are saying. But on this moment in time, as much as I'd love to get the top four, it is a big if. It is a big if. So if, if I'm honest, I think it would have been nice. Obviously, we're going to be both games, so we shouldn't be prioritizing. If we had won today, because. Okay. Okay, let's let me talk about the um, the back line. Now you said they've done really well today. I also want to talk about Aaron Rams there. What were your thoughts on him? Because he's for me part of the back line. If it wasn't for him, he kept it ticking. He was absolutely um, dominating his area today. So the back line and Aaron Rams there, what are your thoughts on both on them, those two? He's still not very good. That's the only steal I can think of. Wow, yes, absolutely. I want to see more of a convincing win from Arsenal. Were you happy and would you think it was convincing enough for you today? I you know, maybe I'm watching a different game, but Mm. The Partey, Partey back pass. For me, I'd put Elmeny in before him. Now let's talk on Jacka quickly because he returns for the North London derby. Does he go in for you to the starting eleven? Absolutely not. Wow. I, I don't want to see him there. I want to see Martinelli. <laughs> we'll leave it on that. A Bamiang. I, I, I didn't see him do anything. But he, he's working hard. He created some chances. Got on the ball. Yeah, but I could go out there and work hard. Yeah. There will be people disagreeing, saying he's got a lot of steel in that midfield jacko. We need that physical presence. So you think still he's at the bottom of your list for you? He returns. Let's hope he doesn't return. Wow, Jack, is that low down on your list? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a perfect one to end. What do we do to close the gap? It's a big gap at the moment between us and Liverpool. That's where we want to get to. They are the champions. What do we do to close it? Well, like Lee's saying... <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing because I'm really mad, but he made a great analogy. If we went to the Arsenal shop, the armory, by the way, I want the officials and the referees, all those, you have a personal vendetta against Arsenal. That's what I think. If you don't agree, you've got to show me because my videos are going back to when I was 19 and now I'm 50 of evidence and I could bring it to a football court of law. This is going back to the time of the cheats. The cheat like Ferguson, the biggest cheat, the disgraceful cheat in football. He's been allowed to get away with it. Then there's Mourinho, then there's Pulis, then there's Allardyce. Yeah. These are big, big, massive cheats that have allowed, yeah, I said Mourinho, thank you. Yes. That have allowed to get away with clattering up. Like I said again, I could even name, I think his name was Richard Prohaska. He nearly broke Patrick Vieira's leg. He nearly broke his leg. He didn't get a yellow card. He didn't get a yellow card. So what's going on? What's going on? I love you too, Pippa. Have we managed to be talking about Carlisle? <laughs> Listen, man. Go and have a go and have a drink. Hi, welcome to AFTV. I've got Julian with me. How are you feeling during the game? You can't play football in the same way, yeah. in those conditions, as you could last week. But Julian, it's, there's, it's raining for both sides. I disagree with what you said. <sighs> um, were Brighton lucky? Were we lucky to not for Brighton not to, to score against us? Not, not Brighton. I disagree with what you said. <laughs> I'm not miserable. You're not miserable? I'm wet. 
I mean, we can talk about the weather. That's interesting. So are you telling me today was a good performance? Unit? It was a game affected by the conditions. Mm. Okay. okay, fair enough. I'm cold. Defending was terrible. Well, it, was, it wasn't the best defending. Things can happen. Remember, we mustn't forget that it's been raining, so... It's been raining, so... It's been raining, so... It's been raining? Yeah. Are you being serious? Can he bring back the glory days to Arsenal, Mikel and Arteta? The answer is yes. Um, if we have another season like we've had, then no. Um, would I like to see him go? Probably yes. But then I look back at some other managers. I mean, Ferguson nearly lost his job after about 12 months at United. He was one goal away in an FA Cup semi-final. He'd have been booted out. Mm. Uh, I think it was um, Mark Robbins scored. Mm. And, the, uh, and the rest is history. So he might Ladies be another Ferguson. <laughs> Duncan Ferguson. Ha <laughs> <laughs>